What is good YouTube, it is G from the Pittsburgh Mortals back with another video. In today's video, I'm actually going to be unboxing and reviewing the PS5 DualSense Battle Beaver controller. This will be from the perspective of someone who's been playing on an Xbox controller his entire life. The main reason I wanted to switch over to PlayStation was just because I've heard that the input delay is a lot less and it feels a lot more smooth when you're playing games and stuff like that. I'm going to be testing it on Apex. Um, it obviously applies to every game pretty much out there, so subscribe and let's hop right into the unboxing and then the testing right afterwards. All right, so here is the box that it came in. As you can see, this is Battle Beaver right there. It also came in like a medium-sized FedEx box, but I pulled that one out. Or I pulled this out of it, and then this is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and open this. Okay, so we got styrofoam and more styrofoam. It's like in styrofoam. This is my first time ever seeing it, so. It's is what it looks like it's pretty light out of the box actually um, very 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 first impressions it's actually pretty comfortable especially being from an xbox like an xbox background and stuff i will say that the uh buttons that i picked are like perfect for me they're pretty much exactly where i rest my fingers that i usually use to push my triggers or push my paddles on the other one so yeah, that's what it looks like. We've got the smart triggers, they feel nice. Also got this USB cable and some stickers and stuff. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and plug this in and I'll uh, do an actual review for you. All right, so this is actually me, uh, probably like a week later after using the DualSense uh, Battle Beaver for a little bit. I've had a few sessions under my belt by now, just because I wanted to kind of give you a review from a perspective of someone who's been using it for about a week. If I gave you a review like right out of the box and my very very first impressions playing it wouldn't be as fair but now i'm a little bit more used to it while we're loading into a firing range match i will just say that this controller if you're used to playing on xbox this controller is very very big compared to the xbox controllers i know like ps3 ps4 those controllers were really small compared to xbox but this one's actually a lot bigger and i will say if you play with a control freak on your left analog stick you're probably going to end up having to take that off if you do switch over to the playstation controller just because it's really really difficult to like have your left hand all the way over here in the first place if you have the joystick elevated on top of that it makes it really difficult to move around so i ended up just i used to play with a control freak on my left analog stick but i just removed it and it's a lot easier now and honestly you don't really need a control freak on your left analog stick in the first place one other thing i'll mention is if you do switch over from xbox to playstation you have control freaks they don't fit very snug on top of the analog stick so you do want to get new control freaks that are specific to the playstation controllers and so as far as everything else goes other than control freaks and stuff like that i will say that this controller feels extremely good i have smart triggers those are the only smart buttons that i've got online and i have two back buttons and the position where i put my buttons um on this controller are very very similar to where i put the paddles on the elite one so it's very very comfortable and yeah honestly the buttons are extremely comfortable and i'd say the biggest difference for me is literally the d-pad the fact that the d-pad is above your left analog stick and not below it makes it pretty difficult to kind of use it but after like one or two sessions i was just i was being i was able to hit it really like fine and it wasn't a big deal if you do want to switch to claw i also do recommend the playstation controller just because if you are kind of like using claw on xbox it's a lot less comfortable than it is on playstation just because of the way the buttons are laid out one thing that i do love about this controller as well is the big i don't even know what this is called but the big button right in the middle here this pretty much is like a, a free keybind that the xbox controller controller doesn't have i just have it bound to map which i probably could have something better on it but yeah it's a, it's a really nice button and really easy to use so yeah i'd say the biggest difference honestly is the d-pad as well as the left analog stick obviously the right analog stick is where it is normally on the xbox controller so that's not a big deal but the left analog stick is um is a pretty big change but like i said after a few sessions i'm already used to it and honestly it's so much better than the xbox controllers i've kind of loved playing on it um just because of the input delay if you're getting it specifically because of the input delay thing i wouldn't necessarily recommend it especially if you have a hard time getting used to new controllers i didn't necessarily have a hard time getting used to it but if you do think you might then i wouldn't switch over to it just because the input delay is 
is nice, but it's not like a huge difference. Obviously, every second counts in, in like Apex and other games like that, but I don't know. It, it's kind of like your decision, honestly, at the end of the day. I love the Switch. I, I'll definitely be probably using PlayStation controllers from now on. I know Caspa Splix also made a review about the Xbox Battle Beaver a few weeks ago. So if you guys want to go ahead and check that one out, then go ahead and do that. I'll leave a link at the top right of the screen right now. If there's any other things you want to hear about the controller, definitely leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer them. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.